Hello everybody, this is Greg with DC Real Estate Marketplace and today I'm looking at the past few years worth of data for Chevy Chase. And we're just going to look at four graphs really quickly. Um, the first one is for the median price, asking price, sorry, median asking price of homes. So that means that these are for homes that are currently for sale at any given time and not sold properties. So median asking price for homes in Chevy Chase. This is a two-year graph and if you look at the far left side up here we can see that two years ago the median asking price was $1.45 million for all the homes for sale in uh, Chevy Chase. And uh, in the two years since that was taken, our most current measurement is just below 1.1. So uh, it looks like we've lost $350,000 in median asking price. Now that had been down to almost $150,000 uh, earlier this year. We did have a bit of a rebound. So uh, I guess that's better than nothing, but still, uh, $350,000 loss uh, in value is not a great uh, sign if you're looking to sell your home anytime soon in Chevy Chase. This next graph is for luxury homes or the, the top 25% most expensive homes. So the top quartile of homes on the market in Chevy Chase. And two years ago, uh, for that smaller group, the median asking price was right around $2.9 million. Uh, beginning of this year, that fell all the way to 1.9. We've bounced back a little bit and we're at 2.3. But if you look at where we are now, where we were two years ago, that's about a $600,000 loss. Again, not a great indicator for sellers. If you're a buyer, uh, that's probably a beautiful graph. If you're a seller, not as much. This next graph, I'm really not sure what to make out of it. It almost looks too good to be true. It doesn't really uh, match up with a lot of other indicators we're seeing, but this is the average days on market for Chevy Chase. Um, basically, it looks like it's been pretty steady for the past, well, from, from two years ago to late last fall, that it was between 120, 140 days on the market. Then we started seeing some wild um, variation, and now it's just dropping, dropping, dropping. And you wouldn't normally expect to see uh, average days on market uh, really fall that much, especially given the current economic conditions. But um, Chevy Chase is a, a relatively small area, and uh, the, the movement of a few homes can really uh, throw this kind of average um, numbers off. So maybe that's what we're seeing is just sort of an aberration with a, a relatively small amount of homes thrown off the whole measurement there. And the last one we're going to look at is inventory levels. How many homes are currently on the market? The interesting thing is to note is that I usually look at one year's worth of data. If we had done that, it would look like our inventory levels have really shot through the roof because we'd be looking at May when there were about 80 homes on the market of last year, and now we're up to 105. So that's a pretty big jump. But if we look at two years ago to give ourselves a little bit more uh, vision, uh, big picture, we, we'd see there are about 123 homes on the market two years ago at this time, and we're only at 105. So we're, there are fewer homes on the market now uh, even though there were more than there were one year ago, there are quite a few fewer than there were two years ago. So it really depends on how you want to look at that. Um, but the climbing inventory and the uh, falling prices, not surprising to see those two go hand in hand. So that's a really quick look at Chevy Chase Homes. If you have uh, questions about your neighborhood or anything around the D.C. area, please feel free to get a hold of us and we will be happy to help you out. Thank you. Bye-bye.